Over the last eight weeks, I would say it's been about that long since I've put a video up. Each and every week has been like another curveball. I wish that I, I, I had the courage to get on and share in those transitional times. I'm learning a lot about myself and my innate desire to have things settled and understood. And I am learning also that that is not what life is right now. This is just what life is. It's going with the flow and growing in the Lord alongside the circumstances because He is my grounding when everything swirls around me. So I put together these videos. They're out of date already. Like two weeks passed. I sat down for probably on and off 12 hours trying to take all this overwhelming talking that I did and tried to cut it down and put it into a less than 10 minute video. And I learned some things about how to talk to the camera. I talk too fast and I don't stop. So it was hard to edit myself and I'm only doing this on iMovie right now. I'm intimidated by Final Cut, so I'm taking my time. I feel like I've come to this point where I do wanna do this. I don't know what this looks like because JR is working two full-time jobs, so his ability to step in and help is super limited. And um, that in itself needs to be shared. He just started a job as a nurse practitioner, super exciting. And his job that he was at as a travel nurse, the contract wasn't done and they wouldn't let him out of the contract. So our life got real busy real quick. He works Monday through Thursday, then Thursday night through Saturday night. He literally has doesn't have to go to work on Sunday, but he comes home from work on Sunday. We're trying to find our bearings. So much is happening and we genuinely are in this for the long haul with our adoption, but nothing's happening. And we are okay with that. We just feel like I, I shouldn't say JR, he's got a, a good steady mind on this. But I feel like I'm allowing myself to feel pressure because we've shared that we're doing this. And um, so nothing's happening yet. We are praying with all of our hearts that just these jobs will um, just bear some fruit. I mean, it's gonna be a little while before we see that change. He's still transitioning into the role. And then, um, yeah, we are super ready to do our home study. But where we live, maybe a hiccup with that. Um, I was gonna do three videos, but I'm not. I'm just gonna scrap it. I may do two, I don't know what I'll do. I don't even know what I'll do. I mean, it's been a while. So I have so much I could share and who wants to watch 40 minutes of footage? So yeah, I guess I'm gonna do this because I feel like it's right for us right now. And from that place, I am just gonna feel freedom. I, I want to have organized memories because right now I have thousands upon thousands of, un, um, of fragmented pieces of our past, of our memories. And I feel like this channel for us and me sharing my heart and being encouraging and um, our just day-to-day -day life, I feel like it will be the most rich way to look back. And it may only be until we get to the other side of our adoption, but maybe we'll carry on. But I have to figure out how to do this efficiently. I have no idea how to edit videos quick while trying to just navigate life, navigate these kids navigate getting ready to homeschool, navigate meals, navigate the grocery store, navigate. There's so much to figure out and I'm going to do it because I do. And I do it with sometimes a lot of just wonderful strength from the Lord and other times I do it with a ton of my own weakness and he's my strength. So ultimately I'm okay, but I feel like I've had a lot of digital and social media just fill and cloud my mind in the midst of real deep things that God is doing. I'm not gonna go away. 
I'm just gonna continue to lean on him a little more intentionally and I'm gonna continue to um, figure out how to share that because I know I'm not alone in that. It's stressful. This world is just message after message after message. It is, you know, this will help you. This is good. This is tragic. I, like, my head is spinning and it needs to be clear. And I could totally clear it and just wipe myself off the face of social media, the map, and I would be perfectly fine and we would thrive. I, I want to give this a shot. I want to. So here's to hanging in there in the midst of being a 36 year old who probably struggles with all this screen stuff just as much as 14 year olds do. And um, that's okay because we're all human and it's not going away. So I want to conquer those those messages that kind of come in and just not listen. I'm gonna post some updates. I'll start sharing our family again. And thanks for just hanging in there, praying for us.